These are the top 5 most badass superhero scenes episode 4 with an additional bonus fight scene as an appreciation to our fans for staying locked in on our channel. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. Let's proceed with the countdown. 5. Sanchi vs Ten Rings Bus Fight Scene In an attempt to increase his might, Wenwu sets out in 1996 to find the town of Talo, which is rumored to be home to a number of legendary monsters. When he discovers the village's entrance, Ying Li, the village's protector, stops him from going inside. Shang-Chi and Ziyeling are the couple's two children, born after their love affair. To live with his family, Wenwu gives up the Ten Rings and his organization. But later, Wenwu picks up the Ten Rings once again to slaughter them and go on with his nefarious operations when Li is killed by the Iron Gang, the Ten Rings' longtime opponents. At the age of 14, Shang-Chi starts martial arts training and is dispatched by Wenwu to kill the Iron Gang boss. Following his successful assignment, a distraught Shang-Chi flees to San Francisco and takes on the alias, Sean. Together with his best buddy Katie, Shang-Chi works as a valet nowadays. Shang-Chi and Katie are ambushed by the Ten Rings, commanded by Razor Fist, as they ride the bus to work. After fending him off, Shang-Chi finds that his mother's necklace has been stolen. 4. Bucky vs. Captain America, Iron Man and Black Panther As King T'Chaka steps up to give the keynote address, Natasha sees guards gathered around a parked vehicle. The king is killed when an explosion tears through the structure. Natasha first encounters King T'Chaka, John Carney, the father of Wakanda's Prince T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman. Vibranium, the substance used to create Captain America's shield, has grown prevalent in Wakanda as a result of a meteorite impact. When a news report highlighting the devastation in Vienna is received, Steve, Sam, and Sharon Carter are seated in a hotel room back in the United States. Steve recognizes Bucky as the bomb planter as he watches security footage of the incident. After receiving a text from Steve, Sharon tells him she needs to hurry to work and boards a military aircraft for Vienna. Hundreds of people are hurt, as Natasha notices as she glances about. Prince T'Challa takes out a printed picture of Bucky getting out of the vehicle with the explosives. When Steve receives a call from Natasha, he informs her that he must bring Bucky in. He's already in Vienna, so he hangs up and surveys the ruined structure. When Sharon spots him, she gives him a file so he may start the manhunt early and get ahead of the German military task team, GSG-9, which is under the orders to kill. 3. T'Challa vs. Killmonger fight scene T'Challa returns to Wakanda, healed by a heart-shaped plant that Narkia brought with him. He and Killmonger continue their battle for the throne, which will never truly end because T'Challa never gives up or dies. Killmonger's claim to the kingdom is instantly thrown into doubt when he refuses to comply, and Okoye and the Dora Milaje turn against him. But Killmonger, donning his own Black Panther armor now, and the border tribe both put up a fierce fight. As Shuri, Narkia, and Jabari engage in combat with Wakabi, Ross uses Shuri's direction to operate a remote jet and fire down the planes transporting the weapons before they can escape the nation. Until Imbaku and the Jabari show there to defend T'Challa, the combat goes badly for his side. This turns the tide of the conflict. In the midst of the Vibranium Mine, where sonic disruptions utilized in the metal's transportation render T'Challa and Killmonger's Vibranium armor inoperable, their conflict takes them. T'Challa stabs his cousin as Killmonger's body is only momentarily visible. He promises to treat Killmonger and brings him to view Wakanda's sunset. However, Killmonger claims he would rather die a free man because he knows he would thereafter be imprisoned. After removing the dagger from his chest, he passes away quietly. 2. Sanchi v Ziyeling Fight Club Fight Scene Shang-Chi chooses to find Ziyeling because of fear that the Ten Rings may assault her for her pendant. He tells Katie about his background, and she agrees to assist him. They discover her in the underground fight club she operates in Macau, where Ziyeling vents her anger at their father and Shang-Chi. The Ten Rings then attack the fight club, and Wenwu shows up out of the blue to take Shang-Chi, Katie, and Ziyeling hostage. After leading them to the Ten Rings complex, Wenwu says he thinks Li is still alive and is being held in Ta Lo. He then uses the two pendants to make a map that would allow him to go into the village. After rescuing his wife, Wenwu plots to destroy the hamlet. When his kids and Katie oppose, he locks them both up. 
Trevor Slattery, a former actor who the Ten Rings imprisoned for mimicking Wenwu, helps the three escape the camp. 1. Iron Man v's Bucky and Captain America. Zemo plays a video clip of Bucky initiating the collision and killing Howard and Maria Stark, the two passengers, in cold blood. Furious, Iron Man confronts Cap and Bucky and asks whether Steve was aware of what had transpired. Steve informs him that all he knew was that Hydra was responsible for the death of his parents. During their struggle, Bucky's metal arm is blasted off by Iron Man. Tony's arc reactor is finally turned off by Cap, making his suit worthless. Tony reminds him that Steve's shield, which his father gifted to him, is not his to bear. Steve puts it down and walks off with Bucky. Panther discovers Zemo sitting outdoors with a gun in his hand and gazing at a picture. He claims to Black Panther that he will not give up until he has destroyed the Avengers from inside because his family was slaughtered in Sokovia. Zemo uses the gun to attempt suicide when he succeeds, but Black Panther stops the bullet with his palm over the barrel and captures Zemo so that he may be judged. Bonus fight scene. T'Challa v Zem, Baku fight scene. In the present, T'Challa, the son of T'Chaka, comes to Wakanda to take the kingdom after his father was killed by Helmut Zemo, who was posing as James Barnes and wearing a mask. Once he teams up with Okoye, the head of the all-female Dora Milaje fighting force, to free his ex-girlfriend Nakia from an undercover mission in the Sambisa forest of Nigeria, he meets up with his mother Queen Ramonda and younger sister Princess Shuri, the country's current tech prodigy. During his coronation, Mbaku, the chief of the fifth tribe, the mountain-dwelling Jabari, challenges him for the throne. After a ceremonial battle between the two, T'Challa prevails and takes the throne. He gave Mbaku his life technically letting him live. 